artichokes, anyone? Oh, it's so perfect, so simple. Plenty of flavour and texture. All this artichoke talk is making me thirsty. That's really weird. That is super sweet. Something doesn't taste quite right. Do you put any sugar in my water? No, not at all. Artichoke that change your uh, palate. So it's not the water that tastes sweet, it's the artichoke? Yes. How does it do that, then? We should discover it. To find out why artichokes had such a tongue-tripping effect... I'm Jim. Hi, hi Jim. Nice Hi. to meet you. I'm meeting taste specialist Dr John Fry. It is a well-known effect of artichokes. The science behind it is quite unusual. Right, OK, so nice bit of artichoke heart. What's happening now I've eaten that artichoke? Well, artichokes contain a substance called uh, cyanarin, so it binds to your sweetness receptors on the tongue and shuts them down. So that prevents my tongue getting any sweet flavours? That's right. The water washes away the cyanarin and floods the mouth with sweetness as the receptors in our taste buds are turned back on. Water has never tasted so sweet. That is bizarre. So, in a way, the receptor of my brain's playing a trick on me. Yeah, exactly. And artichokes aren't the only thing Dr Fry's brought along to send my tongue on a taste trip. What I do have is dried miracle berry. The miracle berry is a fruit native to West Africa, and it's another food that hacks into our taste buds. While artichokes close down the tongue's sweetness receptors, these bizarre berries bind to the same receptors, making the brain perceive sour flavours as sweet. Time to put them to the test. Pop that in your gob. OK. Let them dissolve. Miracle berries contain a substance called miraculin, the ingredient behind this mind-bending transformation. What's that like? Well, it's kind of like an orange, but it's really sherbety. But then it tastes like <laughs> other fruits. Yeah, I can't see point. Wow, lemon. Nice bit of lemon. <laughs> <laughs> Forget whoopee cushions. These miracle berries or the odd artichoke are all I need in my practical joke kit. It's nice, yeah. It's nice. Yeah, that's vinegar. Really? Oh. Vinegar. Uh. But there is a more serious use for these berries. They can work as a sugar substitute and help patients recover their appetites after chemotherapy. It was <laughs> sour cream. <laughs> <laughs> ah, mine's worn off. 